Hi guys, so gardening season is finally here and a couple of days ago on August 10th I started all my seeds that I am going to need in September and seeds that have to be started indoors and I will transplant them outdoors and also things that I started indoors and are going to stay indoors and that's a total experiment. So that video was going to be just about me planting the seeds, the techniques that, that I'm using it wasn't going to be about anything else and today is August 13th and I am not even finished editing this video yet and there was a huge surprise for me so I will show you one extra step with uh, one of the things that I'm growing since uh, I got a big surprise only not even three days later I will show you what I'm starting indoors and it's gonna go outdoors what it's gonna stay indoors watering and all that good stuff so I hope you guys enjoy and as always for my seeds, I'm using the Jiffy Seed Starting Mix. I'm gonna stop talking so you can hear the consistency of the soil. So it is the consistency of wet sponge. So it's pretty moist, but I did it for a reason. This way I don't have to water the seeds right away. They can just sit and germinate for at least three or four days and not be watered. And the water that I'm using to moisten the soil is water from the tap that I poured in a pitcher and let it sit for a few hours so the chlorine evaporates out of it. But it's just water at this point, I'm not adding anything because this is a seed starting mix so it has a lot of nutrients in it. So this winter I'm just gonna start two pepper plants because last winter it got really cold and they did not make it. But I'm using my red Dixie cups with five holes in the bottom that I drilled with the power drill. This way I can butter, bottom water them instead of water, watering them from the tap. And I'm going to start by filling up the cups with soil. And you will have to compact the soil a little bit. So the best way, at least I found out to do it, is just gently tap with the other cup. Just to make sure that there are no air pockets inside the, the soil. Although I only want to grow two pepper plants, I am still going to plant at least three seeds per cup and then I will clip two of them out and leave the strongest one out because I'm not sure if I have bad seeds or something. I've been buying the same brand of seeds for a while but I don't have a very good germination rate. Like I can, if I plant, if I plant five seeds in one cup, I would get about two of them to germinate, so we'll see. So to assure that I have bell pepper seedlings in September to plant outside, I am going to plant four seeds per container just to be safe. Because as I said, these are not very good peppers. And what I'm doing is poking about quarter of an inch deep holes with the pencil and I'm gonna put one seed per hole. So I think I picked the best seeds from the packet. The reason I'm using the big cups with the bell pepper seeds because I am not going to up plant them the way I do with the tomato plants. They're gonna go from here into the garden. And now I'm going to gently cover them with soil. And I press a little bit so there is no air left in the hole. And again I'm gonna use, don't press too hard though, just firmly but gently. I'm gonna do the same with this one. And I'm just gonna let them sit next to the wall here. At this point I'm not worried about the seeds getting sunlight because they haven't germinated yet. Once they germinate I will actually move them right up here. And since the soil in these two is pretty moist they are not going to need watering for I would say at least three or four days and you can always do a test leave the cup because now that the soil is wet the cup is heavy and you will feel how it's gonna start getting lighter in a couple of days and then we'll get to the watering this is heirloom one two three and four and then over here i have the money maker and the beefsteak so i'm gonna start by filling all the cups with my pre-moistened soil. So I'm filling those with soil and I can't remember if I mentioned but I drill with the power drill five holes in the bottom of each cup so I can bottom water them. I'm going to be planting three seeds per container and then unfortunately or three seeds per cup and unfortunately I will keep only one of them. We will do three per cup and I want to make sure they germinate because usually I soak my seeds for 24 hours well, maybe a little less than that. I soak them into wet paper towel, but at this point I'm really running out of time because today it's August 10th and I should have planted them two weeks ago and I just don't have time to wait for that. 
So I'm gonna risk it without soaking them. I am going to plant three per cup and hoping that at least one of them will germinate. We'll see what happens. But uh, the holes that I'm uh, poking into the soil, each hole it's about a quarter of an inch deep. And I'm using the pencil because that's about quarter of an inch right there. I am going to start putting one seed per hole and that would make three seeds per container. And I'll continue with the rest of the cups and I'll be right back. So I have all the seeds in place and I'm just gonna cover them with soil. And at this point I'm not gonna water them because the soil is very moist. And because sunlight doesn't really matter at this point, I'm just gonna arrange them here on a tray, on a baking tray, and make sure that it's a tray that you're not going to need in the next 45 days or so. This way it's gonna be easier to water them. I'm gonna set them right here by the window and wait for them to germinate, and the next step is gonna be the watering. At this point, I don't have to worry about watering for at least two or three days inside the temperature in the house. It's, oh, I would say we keep it around 79, 80. So it should be warm enough for them. And uh, once they start germinating, I am going to introduce them to more light. Another thing I'm gonna grow here in my winter garden this year, it's uh, ironically the summer cucumber. So I'll give it a try. It wasn't successful last year, but I'll try again this year. And what I'm going to do is I am going to plant three seeds per container or per cup and the same thing about quarter of an inch depth so three per cup and eventually I'll wait for them to germinate and I will keep the strongest one so I'm gonna have to get rid of two of them so I drop each one of the seeds and these are gonna be indoors as well all right and then we're gonna cover them with soil and just like with the other plants with the other seeds the soil it's super moist so i don't have to water them for at least a few days all right the next thing i'm starting indoors is the swiss chard and the kale and i was optimistic a couple of videos ago and i was saying that i'm just gonna start them outdoors but no i faced way too much disappointment last year with the birds eating my seedlings Oh, and I've mentioned that uh, in a previous video, but the, this is the Swiss chard, and the Swiss chard seeds are actually clusters of seeds. So these are a lot of seeds in one of those clusters. Out of one of those seeds, probably two, three, even four Swiss chard plants may come out. So I'm planting two per cell, so chances are I'll get anywhere from two to maybe eight, so I'm gonna have to trim the other ones, but that's all right. Better safe than sorry, right? And I'm not, these are too small, so I'm not making holes for them, but I'm just placing them on the top of the soil, and then I'm gonna cover them with soil. So over here are the kale seeds, and there is no easy way to do kale, so I'm just gonna kind of sort of guess it. So I have two, I just don't wanna waste too many seeds. I have two, three, four. All right, and now I'm just gonna cover them with soil. So just because the seeds are so small, I can't really see where I'm putting stuff once I make the hole. That's kind of an easier way to do it. All right, kale and Swiss chard are ready as well. Next, I'm gonna plant my jalapeno peppers and I'm gonna use these two containers because it's gonna look nice in my kitchen and later in the patio. And first, because that's uh, the soil that I'm using, it's uh, just regular gardening soil from the store. You actually saw me buying this uh, soil a few videos ago. But it's really hard to get it wet. What I'm doing is I'm pu I put the soil in the containers first and then I will water the soil and let it settle and then I'm gonna plant my seeds. So I'm gonna plant three seeds per container and I will eventually leave only one of the jalapeno plants, jalapeno pepper plants. So because these are not gonna be transplanted, I wanna be as close to the center as I can. So when I leave the one seedling that I wanna keep, it's kinda sorta centered. So I am going to try and make the little holes as close to one another as possible. And then I will place one seed in each one of the holes, hoping that at least one of them will germinate. And these are gonna take a while. I, uh, I grew these jalapeno peppers before and they took a long time to germinate. I think it was something like two weeks or something like that. Now in these two containers, which conveniently are the width 
uh, for the border over here and my windows in the kitchen. I am going to plant salad mixed greens. So this is the salad blend I'm going to grow. And the reason I want to grow them in containers, and the same thing, this is garden soil, and I'm just going to pour water now before I plant them. These are going to stay inside because outside they started growing. I, I did pick quite a few, but then it got really hot and they died out. And now it's still too hot to plant them outdoors. So this is a total experiment. So we'll see how it works. So I'm going to let the water settle. And keep in mind, guys, uh, this is water that I pour and then I let it sit for a while. So the chlorine evaporates out of the water. Now, according to the instructions on the packet, they have to be spaced 8 inches apart. So what I'm going to do is, because, because I want it to look nice and bushy and green, I'm going to try to crump them up, which is not a good idea, but it's an experiment, so I will be forgiven. So I'm going to try and do this. Plant six heads of salad greens per container. And I'm going to put quite a few seeds per hole. Well, not quite a few, but like four or five per hole. And then I will just leave or let the strongest one grow. So again, here we have the tiniest seeds in the world. So I'm just gonna try to eyeball. So I'm putting quite a few, but I can't see. I'm wearing my glasses and I can't see. And I'm gonna show you now what I do if I have to tap water seeds that I just planted, because my biggest fear always is that somehow they're gonna start sinking. Like I didn't compact the soil enough and they're gonna start sinking further and further down. So what I do is my mom taught me this trick. Uh, I take a little bowl of water and then I scoop water and I drip it right where I plant it instead of just pouring water over them. And I'm gonna have to do this probably every couple of days. And I am done for tonight. So here is what we have. Jalapeno peppers, jalapeno peppers, cucumbers, tomatoes, Swiss chard and kale, bell peppers and salad. So now it's day three of uh, starting my seeds and uh, guess what? The Swiss chard and the kale are missing and I will show you why. And the reason the Swiss chart and the K were missing is because this morning, so just over 48 hours later, the kale has germinated. And on the back of every package says that you have to wait until they're about inch and a half, two inches tall before you thin them out. But because these are very small seeds, I hardly see what I'm doing when I'm planting them. I have way too many of them. So I'm gonna thin them out to two per cell and then I'm gonna wait a little bit longer and then I will, go, I will thin them out to one per cell. So at this point, I will pick the ones that look the best and I'm gonna leave them. So here we only have two. Here, this guy, it's in the middle. These two guys are in the middle. And this is too close to the edge. So these two are gonna go and these two are gonna stay. So I'm not having a cup of coffee, this is just water. So this normally would be considered my first watering and with the first watering I do fish fertilizer. However, I just realized that I am completely out of fish fertilizer, so I'm gonna have to order that. So that's gonna be the next uh, the next watering, and I'm gonna do it through Amazon Prime. So hopefully it gets here within a couple of days. I don't want to do bottom watering at this point since there is no fertilizer, nothing. It's going to really benefit the soil and the bottom of the container. So what I'm gonna do is I have my water that I poured hours ago, so the chlorine has evaporated, and what I'm going to do is just start taking water and carefully pour it over each cell and now keep in mind that if you if you're a big time gardener and you're growing a lot of things that obviously it's not efficient way to do it but if you're like me if you're gardening on a small scale that would totally do it so this is one of the containers that has uh, the lettuce the salad spring mix so i kind of sort of remember right where i Put the seeds so I'm gonna water right there this one it's still a little wet actually even three days later so I started them on August 10th and uh, now it's August 13th but uh, this is what I'm going to do with, with each one of them and then with each one of the cups as well now I'm then watering all these guys and I am going to take the kale and the Swiss chart back to the window because once your seedlings start germinating 
if you keep them in a dark place or kind of away from the sunlight, they will start getting uh, growing really tall and spindly and what they call leggy seedlings. And the lettuce, once it starts germinating, I am going to just put it in the window over there and hopefully it grows all six lettuce heads so it looks nice and pretty. So if you guys have any questions about any uh, seeds that I'm starting, please leave the questions in the comment section below. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if this is your first time visiting my channel, please subscribe. I post a lot of videos about gardening, cooking, cleaning, and home remedies. Pretty much anything that it's uh, old school related. So I will see you guys next time when everything has germinated. I can't wait.